Uh, tonight is the uh, November 20th meeting of the Development Review Board for the City of Montpelier. Um, we will open the meeting and we'll have Meredith review the remote procedures. Okay, so um, everybody who's on tonight knows the little spiel, but I still got to do it for anybody watching via Orca Media. So I'm going to share my screen. Do, do, do. Okay, so for anyone watching tonight's Development Review Board meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's discussion via the Zoom platform through either video or telephone access options. So if you want the full video experience, uh, please type this link into your web browser and it should open up the Zoom platform and I'll get a message that you're asking to come into the meeting um, and let you in. Alternatively, you can just use your phone and dial in at this number, plug in this meeting ID, and again, I'll get a little notice and let you into the meeting. If you're trying to get into the meeting and having problems, please email me at mcrandall at Montpelier hyphen vt.org. I will be monitoring my email throughout the meeting. Um, for those attending via Zoom, turning your video on is optional. For everyone attending, please keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking to reduce background noise. If we start to get a lot of people in um, on the meeting, then I will actually probably mute everybody and you'll need to raise your hand to speak. Um, and then I will unmute you. It gets a little tedious, but it helps keeps, thing in, keeps things in order. Um, a reminder that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. Um, and for anybody on Orca Media that does call in um, on the phone, if you're using the phone, the star nine um, puts a little raise hand sign up on the screen so that I would know you'd wanna talk. Um, in the event the public is unable to access this meeting, and I would be notified of that via my email, the meeting will need to be continued to a time and place certain. I'll now hand the meeting back over to the chair. Great. Thank you. Um, maybe let's just uh, go around and identify who is here for the board. Um, Joe, you want to start? And me? Just say your name, and so people know who's on the, who's here for the board tonight. Joe Kiernan, um, DRB member. Rob? Kevin O'Connell, DRB member. Rob Goodwin, <laughs> DRB member. Alex? Alex Halas, DRB member. Catherine? Catherine Burgess, DRB member. Great. Uh, I am, believe the other people are with the applications. Um, so has everyone reviewed the agenda? Yes. Um, I'll make a motion, motion to approve the agenda. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimously passed. The agenda has been approved. Um, we have uh, two things in front of us this evening. Uh, 22 Liberty Street, which was a continued hearing from last time. Um, that application has been withdrawn, so we need to officially close the hearing that has been continued from last week. Uh, I would entertain a motion to do so. We're closing the uh, the, the uh, hearing permanently, Meredith? Yeah. Currently, the yeah. applicant okay. withdrew their application okay. yeah. after discussions. Just yeah. wanted to be clear about that. I'll, yeah. I'll make a motion to withdraw the application of... Uh, at 22 Liberty Street. Could I'll second the motion. Uh, discussion on that. Could we modify that to uh, close the hearing instead of withdraw? Because we're not withdrawing. Oh, okay. So, so I accept that. Uh, Modification. That change. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, all right. So we have a motion and a second on the floor. All those in favor of closing the continued hearing. Say aye. 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 Those not in favor? And that passed unanimously to close the uh, 22 Liberty Street application. Um, our next application uh, is the 36th College Street, uh, Vermont College of Fine Arts, 
uh, a conditional review of use to change to an office space. Um, and uh, let's, I guess, hear pretty briefly from Meredith uh, about um, the slight summary of what the application is, and then we'll move to the applicant, and then we'll move to uh, board questions. Uh, yep. So this is pretty much exactly what it says it is. Um, it's changing a section of the current VCFA administrative building um, from what we classify right now as a, sort of a higher education use um, to an office use. Um, and it's not something that really is going to change the impacts, um, but technically office right now in mixed use residential is a conditional use. So it has to come to the board because it's no longer going to be an academic use. Um, that's why it's before you. It's everything's laid out in the staff report. I don't really see any red flags with it, but it's not something I can approve right now under the current zoning as a little flag and that's something I put in the staff report. If you take a, I don't think I put it in the staff report. If you take a look at the proposed zoning changes that are available on the website and they have a public hearing on December 11th, um, the office use is proposed to actually be completely struck from the regulations completely because it just doesn't make sense anymore. Um, it's really a subset of a whole bunch of other uses. So um, it's going to be subsumed into personal and professional services. Thank you. Uh, I think I think the uh, staff report was really clear and very helpful on that um, in terms of uh, what conditional use uh, things we need to review. Um, Katie, do you want to um, swear? Uh, let's swear you in. Uh, raise your right hand. And you promise to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and all the truth uh, uh, under the pains and penalties of perjury? I do. Great. Uh, you want to give a brief description of what's going on? Sure. So um, I do think I had a summary in the report, but basically um, we've got a fair number of employees at this point that are working remotely or hybrid. And so we have excess office space and um, post-flood, um, we've been approached by various organizations looking for um, temporary to um, semi-temporary to permanent um possible space use so senator welch's office reached out um and they are interested in um, is it welch or Leahy? i'm sorry welch okay thank you yep uh, I, if i if i said that differently in the report nope. it is welch um uh, they have i believe it's three full-time staffers and then the senator is on site occasionally um they have constituents that come for appointments um, they estimated about maybe five visits a week um, so it's very low impact we have the space we have sort of a suite of offices that are together um, that have a, a door that keeps them sort of completely contained um so um we are going through the process of seeing if we can make this happen for them. Thank you. That sounds very concise. Um, I think, uh, you know, the, the consideration here is that they meet the conditional use criteria. Um, if people have specific questions about that or they feel that there's a way in which they don't meet that conditional use, um, I mean, I don't know if we need to, we certainly can go through the conditional use criteria, um, but it's a waste of half an hour. It kind I, agree. Of is. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you, Sharon. I, it's, um, it, it's before the, but it's before the council, and the council is going to make a change to the zoning, anyways. I mean, we could go through it. We maybe we could do it in an expedited way, but uh, you know, this the horse is already out of the barn on this uh, use. Yeah, I I kind of feel like that this use uh, that this. This definition is going to be gone anyway. Um, the regulations are clear what what uh, conditional use would have to be met. Um, it's pretty clear that they have, and I, um, like I said, willing to entertain questions. But uh, and if somebody feels strongly that we we should discuss it, we certainly can. Anyone? I would make a motion to grant the request for conditional use and minor site plan approval 
for a 728 square foot office use within College Hall at 36 College Street as presented in the application Z2023-0132 and supporting and supplemental materials. I'll second that motion. Let's do a roll call vote. Uh, Rob, how do you vote? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Uh, Alex? Yes. Catherine? Yes. Joe? Yes. Okay. Uh, any further discussion on that? Any comments from anyone? Oh, I vote yes also. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, then that has been um, moved, seconded, and approved. Thank you uh, all thanks, very Kate. much. Uh, thanks, Katie, for showing up and doing everything just by the book. Love it. Thanks. Uh, all Good right. luck, Katie. I will get that decision as quickly as I can.